Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Today we are going to speedrun deploy Codeigniter 4 with EC2 Linux and RDS. So we are going to start the timer now. We are going to create our new instance from scratch. My only weakness here is my internet, so slow. Launch instance. Here loading. Select Amazon EC2 Linux 2. And then let's directly go to step 6. Configure security group. I'm gonna name this to speedrun CI4. And then this is it should be anywhere and also let's add HTTP and also HTTPS put this anywhere and anywhere launch uh, let's create a new pair Somehow, okay, there it is. Now, let's go to security group groups. And let's create a new security group. Let's call this speedrun CI for RDS. And the rule should be MySQL Aurora. This is for our RDS anywhere. Okay, it's good. Looking good. Create security group. So let's check. Uh, I think it's still running so let's go to RDS oh, I got the wrong link let's create a new instance for our database how long has it been? 3 minutes so far so good if my internet is fast we could have done this probably less than 5 minutes Create a database. MySQL. And then let's wait for a card to appear here. Because production and dev test is going to cost you money. Free tier. And then next, next, next. Uh, admin. The username should be root. Password is root, and then this one is also root. And let's switch this to OK so that we can choose the free tier. So if this does not work, let's generate a new password. Don't forget to take note of that. Next is I think I missed something. Where is it? Uh, 
Ah, yes, this one. Additional connectivity configuration. Click yes for public access. And remove this one and replace it with Speedrun CI4 RDS, the one that we made a while ago. With an inbound rules of MySQL Aurora. Now, this is going to take probably 3 minutes or 5 minutes. Let's go back and check to our EC2. Let's try to connect. So if you're having this problem, don't worry, it's simple to solve. Just go into my GitHub and locate this repo. This one. And then try to using PowerShell. You have to use PowerShell. Time is of the essence. Now that's done, let's try it again. Alright, so we did it. We're in. Let's try to update and also let's close this. We are done with that and also we're done with PowerShell. Yes. Next is we have to follow this thing. So we're done with this. The next one is this. Enable the PHP. How long has it been? 7 minutes. Now for the composer. Let's move the composer to global. And also the permission. And let's check the version. Okay, it's 7.4.11. And this is for our where to put the folder permissions. very important don't miss this now let's go to this is where put where we put our coding native for so i will na name it speedrun okay now it's downloading the coding nighter 4.04 4.0.4 .04. after that we we change directory inside okay we're inside uh, this is not really necessary but we can check okay it's done and then don't forget to copy the environment file and vim and enable press i Let's make this development. Save it. After saving, uh, 
make the writable folder accessible and then for the database configurations let's let's vim again like this the password it's right over here I save it for the database yeah we can call it like that now for the local host it should be the one in the RDS let's go back to RDS There it is. The endpoint is the host. And what else? Yeah, I think that's all. Right, quit. Now, what's next? also let's set up the host now so that it's accessible in the internet and semicolon dollars dollar means you're going down at the bottom of the file this is the end of the file let's copy this and paste okay so my project folder is located at var ww html speedrun and that's it let's write and quit let's run this one and this one and this one okay let's try opening the server now Why is this? It should be easy to. Oh, it's already been 13 minutes. There you go. Welcome to CodeIgniter 4.0.4 So it's all running, connected to RDS and we have our EC2 instance So that's a 30, 13 minutes and 30 seconds mark If the internet was fast, you could probably get it by 8 minutes something